Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S25 series and the challenges the tech giant is facing with their latest chip technology. So sit tight as we explore what this could mean for Samsung, consumers, and the overall smartphone landscape. The anticipation is building for the launch of Samsung's Galaxy S25 lineup. These flagship devices are expected to be revolutionary, with Samsung planning to introduce their first ever 3M chips featuring the Exynos 2500 for the standard models and the Snapdragon 8 Elite for the Ultra version. But there's a twist. Recent reports suggest that Samsung might struggle to deliver on this bold plan thanks to significant yield issues with their 3M Exynos chips. So what's yield all about? In chip manufacturing, yield refers to the percentage of chips that successfully pass quality control. A low yield means a large portion of chips are being discarded, and that's exactly the challenge Samsung seems to be facing with its 3M Exynos 2500 chips. According to a recent report from Business Korea, Samsung is encountering serious production challenges with its Exynos 2500 chips. Despite their optimism about the new process, the yield rates are reportedly low, though the exact figures haven't been revealed. Let's zoom out for a second. Samsung has poured billions into its semiconductor division, but the results have been underwhelming. TSMC, their primary competitor, continues to grow, now holding a dominant 62.3% market share as of the second quarter, while Samsung's foundry share has dropped to just 11.5%. In addition, Samsung has lost some high-profile clients like NVIDIA and Qualcomm, who have chosen TSMC due to better and more reliable yield rates. This shift has forced Samsung to rethink its semiconductor strategy. So what does this mean for the Galaxy S25 series? If Samsung can't resolve these yield problems, we might see them switch gears and use Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite processor across all models, the S25, S25 Plus, and S25 Ultra, instead of the Exynos 2500. And this might actually be good news for consumers. Snapdragon chips have historically outperformed Exynos in terms of both power and efficiency. But for Samsung, leaning entirely on Qualcomm would represent a big setback in their bid to challenge TSMC and strengthen their position in the chip making industry. Now, from the user perspective, better performance and efficiency with Snapdragon chips could be longer battery life and smoother performance. But on a larger scale, this situation raises questions about Samsung's long-term competitiveness in the semiconductor space, with rivals like TSMC and Qualcomm solidifying their positions and taking bigger shares of the market. Samsung's semiconductor future is looking a bit cloudy. Tech enthusiasts everywhere will be watching closely to see how this unfolds. As the Galaxy S25 launch approaches, will Samsung overcome these production obstacles and prove the skeptics wrong, or will they have to rely on Qualcomm to fill the gap? conceding some control over their chip destiny. Only time will tell. What do you think? Will Samsung manage to deliver the Exynos 2500 or should they stick with Snapdragon for all models? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay up to date on the latest Galaxy S25 news and all things tech. Until next time, stay tech savvy. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill-shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or ignore completely. The precision of the S Pen, developed in partnership with Wacom, is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, 
which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series returns offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new camera control button. This physical key equipped with a capacitive surface allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch LED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance. However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera Capabilities Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48-megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48-megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12-megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200-megapixel main camera alongside a 12-megapixel ultra-wide, a 10-megapixel 3X telephoto, and a 50-megapixel 5X zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post-processing. Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to over-sharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low-light conditions, both phones perform admirably, but the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, 
offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.